Hey everybody, this is Caroline at lifeiscaroline.com and I'm going to show you my tutorial for how to do a mask with a removable nose wire. So first we start off with two pieces of fabric cut nine inches by six inches. Now on the short sides, the six inch sides, we're going to secure our elastic ahead of time about three eighths of an inch away from the edge it doesn't have to be super precise, you just want it to be out of the way of the seam allowance as we begin. One thing you want to make note of is that your elastic is flat and not twisted inside the fabric. So between the layers, just make sure it's, it's not twisted or anything and then proceed to the other side. So the elastic will basically make a loop between the two sides, which eventually will be to go around the ears. If you prefer a tie instead of elastic, you can also do that with either bias tape or even a knit material that you cut into strips and pull so that the edges curl in on themselves. After you have finished securing your elastic with either pins or clips, you will want to make two marks on your fabric four inches apart, so two inches on either side of the center. Now we are ready to begin sewing. We will use a 3 8 inch seam allowance and we will begin part way down the side opposite of our marks, so it will be one of the long sides. At the corner, leave your needle in the down position and rotate 90 degrees. I prefer to do a back stitch over each piece of the elastic as I come to it to make sure it's really strong and will not pull out of the finished product. Now we are on the side with our mark. So to make the pocket for the wire, what we will do when we get to the mark is actually lift the needle and lift the presser foot and move the fabric by about half an inch. You can see in the picture to the left what I did. Then we continue sewing through the end of this next long side. We don't have to do anything special with the second mark and we will just rotate at the end of the long side again. Here I am backstitching over the elastic. And again on the other side of this piece. We will now rotate to do the final side of the stitching. Here we will leave about a two inch gap so that we can flip this right sides out. We are currently right sides together. Go ahead and backstitch at the end. In this image, you can see the hole where we will flip it right sides out. That will actually be the bottom of your mask and you can also see the small gap which will be for inserting the wire. Clip all four corners. So now we actually have the larger opening on the bottom and we will mark on the top four inches apart just like we did before. Now to find the center, you can fold the fabric in half and then mark two inches from the center on each side. Here what we will do is clip what is the bottom together or you can use pens and then we will begin to make three small pleats on each of the short sides. The pleats, if you are measuring, will be about 3 8 inch wide, but you can do however it works best for you. The trick is to make sure that all of the pleats on both sides are facing the same direction so that the final product doesn't twist across your face.
Now we will do the other side. It will feel like we're doing it backwards because we want all of the pleats to face the same direction as the other side. So it will face down or to the right on this side where it faced to the left on the other side so that it will all face down in the final product. They may need a little bit of adjusting, as you can see I did. Just do however it works to make sure you get three pleats in each side and they're all facing the same way. You can see our mark on the top and our opening is on the bottom. Now we are ready to do the top stitching. We will start on the bottom side and we will do a 1 8 inch top stitch. Always back stitch at the beginning of your stitching. Here we are closing up the gap that we flipped the mask through and proceeding to the first corner. I like doing a triple stitch over the pleats. If you don't have that option, then you may want to stitch over this part twice or do some back stitching as you proceed. I prefer doing the triple stitch because it holds it in place so much better and you really want those pleats to be nice and strong. You also want to hold with your left hand very securely so that when you take out your clips or your pins, they do not shift or anything like that because it's very easy to do with pleats for them to unpleat. <laughs> Now we are doing the side where the magic happens for the nose wire. Remember those marks we made? Well, when we get up to the first one, we're going to stop there, rotate 90 degrees, and do about three stitches down. We're basically making a deeper top stitch for this one small section. So now we are doing a top stitch 3 eighths of an inch from the edge until we get to our next mark. When we do get to the next mark, we will rotate again back towards the edge and do about three stitches more. After that, we go back to a 1 8 inch top stitch and go on to our corner where we will then rotate and do another set of triple stitching or if you need to do back stitching or whatever you need to do to secure your pleats well. Just make sure you hold them securely with your left hand as you are stitching so that they stay in place. If you are using pins, be careful to not sew over them. Here at the corner, we get to rotate again to do our final piece of top stitching. I like to go ahead and clip the threads on my first part so that they're out of the way as I finish. Do your best to go straight into your beginning stitching and just do a couple back stitches and then a couple forward stitches again to finish. Then trim your threads and you are done top stitching. Now it is ready for our wire. You can use a variety of things for the wire. What I used was floral wire, but you can also even use ornament hooks and straighten them out and curve the ends. Make sure the ends are not sharp. We will insert them into the small gap we made when we were first sewing. And then we have a flexible nose piece. That way, we can remove the wire when it needs to be washed or dried. Happy sewing! <laughs>